All right, dude. Thanks for the fight, buddy. See ya. Got the whopper plopper on and I think something followed up. I'm not positive. I'm pretty sure it did. Right at that corner. Oh, he did. We got him already. Yes. Y'all, third cast of the morning. Oh, is it, a, is it a lady fish? I think it's a lady. What is it? I snagged it. Oh, it's a little gar. Little needle nose, dude. Look at that. He is all tangled up in that sucker. Well, third cast. Got some action. Well, I'll tell you, we're about two hours in. Maybe not quite two hours, hour and a half. And it's been really tough. Top water caught me that one little needle nose deal right as I started. And then I got a pinfish, shrimp. And it's just been bait feed ever since. I haven't had one. I had one what I would call a decent hit underneath the bridge as I was drifting under. But candidly, I, because it's been so quiet, I wasn't ready for it. So it's time to make something happen, y'all. I just got snagged. And uh, lost my, my hook, so I'm re-rigging. All right, reset. Here we go, we got a fish. Y'all, we got a fish on the reset. Yes, literally the first cast. Okay. Be something decent. Oh, it's a catfish. <laughs> uh, dear Lord, what are you trying to tell me? What are you trying to tell me? You tell me to go home? Now that looks like a juicy spot right there for a fish. If I was a fish, I'd be back there in the shade. Little ambush spot. That's where I would be. There we go. If I was a fish, I would be right there. Yes. Yes, that's exactly where he was, too. Oh, gosh, we got a good fish, y'all. We got a good fish. We got a good fish. We got to back up. Oh, this is a solid fish. Solid fish right where I said he'd be. He's a redfish. Okay. Is the hardest part about being in the kayak. Here we go. Y'all, I said, if I was a fish, that's where I'd be. This is right after the reset. Yes. All right, we're safe here. Right inside of the mouth, dude. Perfection. Here we go, y'all. Beautiful little redfish right here. Check this guy out. Right where I said, if I were a fish, that's where I would be. In the shade, underneath that tree, in a little ambush spot, and we got a little, probably right at 18 inch redfish. Check this guy out. My, my lens might be messed up. Beautiful little redfish, y'all. All right, we just reset. Power, positive thinking. y'all can see or not but right there at the end of my rod tip is a turtle in the grass he's feeding in there when i first saw it, i thought a fish was over here feeding but he's got his nose in the grass and that's his rear face as he's kicking he's feeding on something in there that's pretty cool you know that turtle that's next to me i i don't know how this happened i accidentally like drifted up into him he is caught 
on a someone's fishing line that's going all the way up to shore so I'm gonna try to save this guy so he's right there and he's attached to this line that's going all the way up the shoreline there and I, I didn't know I thought he was just in here feeding but he was apparently he was in here stuck so I'm gonna see if I can't get the line right here lift it up with my paddle see that line he's attached to that line you gotta get okay get this line over to me sorry mr. turtle it's gonna be a little uncomfortable for a minute but ultimately it's the best thing for you dude all right let me just situate myself here I'm gonna get you buddy we're gonna get you give me a second yeah this line is way way out and he's just wrapped all around it yeah see look there he is right there and he's wrapped all around that line uh, but I don't know if I cut the line if that's just gonna solve the problem let's see if it does I'm just gonna cut the line See if he can get away now. He might be able to get away. There he goes. Let's see if he gets out of it. Yep, he's gone. That solved the problem. He was just tangled around that line. Okay, well look. Yeah, he's gone. He's over there. All right, good deed for the day. I guess I'm gonna try to get this line out of here. I don't, honestly, I don't know if I can. I'm gonna try. Man, somebody was using some heavy line. This is some heavy braid right here. Hold oh, it's a 50 pound braid right here. Maybe more than that. All right, throw it up there. Get rid of the line. There we go, fish on. I think we got another little mangrove. Found the mangrove spot, I think. You got a little heavier at the end, good mangrove. A little bigger than the last one. Thank you, sir. Put a jig head on because I've got a little more current now. I want to try to be near the bottom, so just change that to a jig head. All right, see you, little dude. There we go. Is a fish? Yeah, I think I found a mangrove spot. Oh, it's a good one too. Oh my gosh, a really good one. Solid, solid. 11, 12 inch mangrove. Yeah, there. Nice, oh, nice thick one. All right, buddy. Little mangrove spot. I've never fished here from land. Apparently you can from the other side, but I've never tried to. I've seen Sandman. I've seen Sandman do it before. I guess you can. There we go. Another mangrove, y'all. Ah, that's four casts in a row. This is a good one, too. Another good one, y'all. Yep, another keeper. 10 or 11. That's like three or four casts in a row. Thick, thick mangroves. It's time of year for these inshore mangroves. Be pretty good size, and they are. See you, dude. Here we go, y'all. Fish on. Another good mangrove. I'm guessing that's what it is. It's been Mangrove City. Oh, little black drum. Yes. Some variety. Awesome. Not for sure that was going to be another mangrove in this spot. Pretty little black drum. All right, buddy. Appreciate that. Black drum in the kayak. Red fish and mangroves. See you, dude. There we, go. there we go, solid fish. This is a solid mango. Oh yeah, it's solid. Oh, it's a big old pig fish. Okay, 
chill. Chill, 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 chill. Let me go. Chill. How do I do? <laughs> That's good. I'm making noise better than a pick fish. Oh my gosh. Don't don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, dude. Don't do it. Oh man. Okay. Gotcha. <coughs> See you, dude. Pick fish noise making competition. I might get a win. Well, I am battling battery issues. I knew that would be a problem today because I have no shade. In the boat I can hide in the shade and keep my batteries cool. Today I don't have that on the sun the entire time, so this battery is overheated. So I'm just gonna let it calm down. So I got yeah, right here. And we are uh, tied to a little rock here so we can sit still. Find a little spot we like right here with the mangroves and the black drum. And there's another fish, and there he is, yes. Y'all, look at that. This is good. This is a good little spot we found, and that big fish fed over here. So I know there's some big fish. Oh, golly, another juicy mango people these have been almost all keepers almost all keepers this is a keeper for sure this guy's probably 11 all right let go dude it's probably 11 inches all right sorry if the lens is messed up i'm trying to clean it off a few times all right see you dude there we go y'all that's a solid fish that's a solid fish Holy Toledo, y'all. Good mangroves right here. Another 11 inch mangrove. Man. 90% of them have been keepers. Another mangrove. See you, dude. So I guess I'm going to give you a sneak peek. I got an idea for a video. I'm going to film a video in black and white. Uh, that'd be kind of cool and i thought you know i don't know how cool that would be honestly a black and white video and nothing else different about it so i had an idea to do a uh, video with only using vintage tackle i met a guy chris at the uh, florida antique tackle collectors convention that i did a video on a while back he's got a bunch of vintage stuff i've got a little bit of vintage stuff so i'm gonna do a video with chris using only vintage tackle vintage lures vintage Everything vintage we can get. Um, if we can get vintage hooks, we're gonna use only vintage hooks. And there's a, oh. And uh, film it in black and white. So that's coming up in a few weeks. I think we're gonna fish on August 1st. And uh, so that video will be out um, early August. So if you uh, if you like that idea or have an idea for that, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm really excited about doing it. I'm trying to do some different stuff. I'm really excited about that. So let me know in the comments below. There we go, we got it. Oh gosh, y'all. If this is a mangrove, it's a this might be the best one if it's a mangrove. Son of a gun, man. These are God, these are great mangroves. It is a mangrove. I hooked him in the side, I think. No, I didn't. God, look at this beast. Look at that beast mangrove, y'all. Holy cow. That's the best one of the day. That's a 13-inch mangrove. Best one of the day. God, look at him. Look at those chompers. Woohoo! Beautiful, beautiful mangrove. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that, man. Wow. This is fun. Well, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Freedom Fishing. Nothing on the popping cork. Had fun, though. I only fished about three hours, so I caught what I catch a red, that red fish. It was a really slow start, but then I got the red fish. A bunch of really beautiful keeper mangroves. That black drum. Saved a turtle's life, I think. That guy was in pretty bad trouble. So it was a really successful trip. Haven't been in the kayak in a while. A lot of fun getting out here. It's warm. These batteries overheat quickly, so it's hard to it's hard to do this in the kayak with the batteries. Like you don't have any shade, no shelter. But uh, thanks for watching. And uh, comment below about that idea I had about a uh, black and white video using all vintage stuff. What are your thoughts about that? Any ideas you might have? Thanks for watching Freedom Fishing, guys. Look at this beautiful terrain I've got here. Going back to the launch. Have a great day. Please like, share, and subscribe as always. God bless.